Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Analyze This, where we basically get to look at everything from business, finance, and the economy. My name is Tunji Andrews, and with me on the show is my co-host. I'm Arisa Ugu, and today we're going to be talking about the real estate market in Nigeria. So in terms of investment options, I feel like real estate is something that a lot of Nigerians aspire to. Most people will say, I want to own a home one day, but it's really expensive mm. to buy property in Lagos, Abuja, in Nigeria in general. Um, but I think that people think about it wrongly as well. Yeah. Instead of waiting to hit or make big money before you start investing in, um, in that, owning yeah. property, you don't have to wait to live in your own home. You can start investing in owning something that you get rental income from. There's land for 500k. Um, you can save and invest towards it and, you know, set benchmarks for yourself. Um, so maybe like I'll buy land now and in a year I will have enough money to start building, do foundation, that kind mm -hmm, of thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and rent it out to people. But financing is such an expensive thing. Like it's hard to get the mortgage market here is not really big. It's hard to get loans to build property or buy property. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not just really small. It's also not very deep. Right. Mm. So um, when I talk about deep, I'm talking about in terms of liquidity, how much money is available to the entire right. mortgage yeah. industry to be able to use to build houses. So um, a proper mortgage um, sector should be able to provide financing, very long term financing, yeah. financing that sometimes even your kids will be paying after you're <laughs> gone. Right. So we're thinking like 50 years, 60 years so that it's really very cheap and easy on your income. Um, I always believe that whatever you're paying for your rent, whatever, you should not be paying more than 30% of, of your entire yeah. um, annual income. But um, So mortgages too should be cheap like that. But you're hearing things like, okay, before you can get um, a mortgage in Nigeria, you need to have 30% equity contribution. And um, in some other parts, for instance, if you want to buy a house in Lekki, the average house... No, not Lekki phase one now. <laughs> There's other parts of Lekki which you can get for like 50, 60 million naira. And if you talk about equity contribution, it comes to maybe 10, 15 million. And that's million. still very expensive. That's still very expensive. So, I mean, there are other parts of Lagos you could go to with that 15 million and build four houses. <laughs> <laughs> As against, you know, trying to wait for that. But I think, again, because I heard... Um, the um, Minister of Housing and Power talking about the fact that he, he, the, uh, the government wants to build more affordable housing. housing. Now, affordable housing, <laughs> affordable is very relative. Yeah. What's affordable for me? Might not be uh, affordable. You know, for. okay, for instance, you know, the richest man in Nigeria, what's affordable for him is not <laughs> affordable for me. So, um, what we need is cheap housing. Cheap housing, which people can pay for a very long period. I'm talking max, like 5 million. And they should be able to pay like over 20, 30, 30 40 years. years. So that they can easily pay like maybe 50k a month and it's their own home. But do you think that the best way to create liquidity and open up that um, mortgage market mm -hmm. is for the government to be building houses? Shouldn't they like basically put the infrastructure in place so that the financing is available for the actual people who are in the private sector to open it up. So for instance, I like what they're doing with the NMRC, the Nigerian Mortgage Refinancing Company. Um, the whole idea of it is for them to be um, a stopgap or like an intermediary between the capital markets and the primary mortgage institutions. Yeah. So the thing is, they want to be able to say, okay, do you know what? Primary mortgage um, institutions will refinance the debts that you have and basically help to create more affordable housing for the average Nigerian. However, what seems to be happening... So on paper, it sounds like a fantastic, fantastic idea. Fantastic idea on paper. But I think that the yeah. execution is a little bit flawed mm -hmm. um, because right now what seems to be happening, in my opinion, is that the primary mortgage um, institutions don't seem to have enough like property, um, residential property that they have mortgages on. Mm -hmm. So And they're also investing more in high-end, like high-end properties as mm. opposed to like low-income housing. So the way that it should work is a primary mortgage um, institution develops um, a property or a group of properties and then now creates mortgages, you know, that are affordable so that people can actually Access buy them. those yeah. homes. Yeah. But I think that a lot of them are building in places like Ikoi, Leki. True. I, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about my street, right? Mm. Um, on my street, there are about thirty gates. So, and some of those gates have 
single duplexes, some have um, terrace houses. Uh, one of them even has about 10 terrace houses inside that Ooh. one single gate. And um, of those 30 gates, only about three have people in them. All of them are new houses, right? Never been uh, lived in before. Yeah. So you wonder why you have empty houses and then you have on one side saying <laughs> people who can't afford to get homes. Yeah. So it's, it's not the fact that um, people are not getting financing to be able to build houses. It's the kind of houses they are building. And probably, the uh, you know, we talked earlier about the fact that the, the market is not deep enough. So because of that, the market is really focusing on where can we get our money quickly back? Uh, where can we get our money back quickly? In, as against where uh, can we create um, affordable housing for Nigerians? Yeah, so I think the, the thing is financing is still an issue because the average person doesn't have access to financing yeah. to buy their own home mm -hmm. or even invest in a, new, in a rental um, property. Um, okay, so uh, let's go to the streets and hear what you guys have to say about mortgages and where you would like to have your house built. A lot of buildings, properties have been overpriced. Um, primarily because the funding and the free f flow of money coming from go from government. Now, this particular government, present government, is not really doing that much in terms of sp spending money, uh, uh, flowing money into the economy. So, what we see is a lot of toilets, a lot of to sa uh, for sale, and uh, very few people pursuing those properties. I guess uh, it's a little bit down right now. Personally, I will rather, yes, I will rent or I will take a long lease or a mortgage on a property on the island. Don't ask me why. It's very obvious. Rents and the value of those properties are the same property that is built in Lekki phase one. And the same property with it, the same contents built in Mowe will not attract the same Rising. Why? Is the area, the land cost. That's why they also pay higher for land charges in these areas to government. So, and coming to your question about renting, it depends. If it's for business, if your business is high end, be you a lawyer, be you fashion, whatever, you will rather, I'm sure, put your proper, uh, business in those areas because the clientele is also higher. So far, so good. I have um, a property somewhere, and my tenants have been paying me. So I think it's not, for me, it's not bad anyway. As at now, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I'm fine with that. And I also have my own property where I stay. So I'm, I'm good with it. Well, I won't like to go to the outskirts of Lagos, <laughs> and I won't also like to rent a house for five million. So maybe I'll rather maybe stay in between. Maybe rather than going to the outskirts, I don't mind the mainland, maybe places like um, Bagada and Tony, um, Airport Road, maybe that far. I definitely plan to own a house in the next two to three years, hopefully. If I had the money to spare, I will um, rent a house on the island, say if I work on the island, and that's solely because of traffic, 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 traffic. If you put Lagos as a case study, actually, I would rather rent a house for five million based on the location and all that. Yes, I'll consider getting a mortgage, yeah, if it's okay at that point in time. I'd rather buy a house on the outskirts of Lagos, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's fine, yeah. It would be cheaper outside the island, and I can build whatever to whatever structure I want, rather than rent a house for five million naira. Why? The island, you have more um, opportunities, like... Um, in the environment is, is kind of conducive, okay? And um, the kind of people you meet around is more developed than the mainland, okay? And, and um, it helps boost your prestige. Oh my God, so the builder's point of view, his perspective is the cocoa of the matter. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with the Nigerian real estate market? Yeah. Because obviously when developers go and get money, they get debt, it's so mm -hmm. expensive, and they feel like the fastest way for them to recoup, as mm -hmm. in the money that they've yeah. invested, is to build in highbrow areas like yeah. Lekki or Ikoi, because the rental incomes there are higher than if you went to go and build in Moway or somewhere like that. But the problem is now, 
There are lots of empty luxury apartments in places like Ikoi and Lekki because no one can afford to live sure, there. Sure. So I think it's short-sighted, even if I get where he's coming from because mm-hmm. you want to be able to pay back the debt. But I think it's short-sighted because there's a huge gap in the real estate market. There's not enough affordable, housing. as in housing. And people need to start finding ways to address that. You know, if you do something that's affordable, it will be more mass market. Mm-hmm. Even the supposed low-income housing is not actually low-income. It's still really expensive. Mm-hmm. So people, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for people to go and build actual low-income housing so that people can afford it. I'm, I'm just a bit um, sad at the box pops because <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, young my, my young guys, as in, I, you, you felt my heart. <laughs> As in, seriously, everybody wants as to be a lucky big to boy. Lucky. No, no, seriously, you can't afford it. If, like we said at the beginning of the show, if it's more than thirty percent of your income, then don't do it. I mean, like they haven't even thought about things like uh, service charge. I'm telling you, it's it's actually very expensive to live in those places. I mean, and think about it. God forbid you lost your job yeah. or your ability to earn. And you're think living pay, check exactly. to paycheck already. You, I mean, think about living in a five million naira house as against living in your own home. Mm. I mean, you it, it might be very far away, but people do live there and work on the island. It's just for you to wake up a bit early. And at the end of the day, even if you have those houses there, sometime in the future, you can still rent a house in Lekki, but know that you have a backup plan in those places. You know, I don't even have an issue with renting a house in Lekki. You can rent a house in Lekki if your income can support it. Exactly. One. Two, you can rent a house in Lekki and have property, enough property outside of those high bar areas Mm -hmm. that can um, give you rental income that will pay for your house in Lekki. So you're not actually paying rent. It it cancels itself out. Yeah, at the end of the day. But I mean, um, looking at it, the, the options that are available to everyone. Um, there are new financing options. Uh, there, there are a couple of companies doing this um, um, so you can pay your rent monthly, although they're still looking at the highbrow areas still, I mean, which is a problem. But hopefully we're going to get to the point where you can get a house in Agege, um, Moe for and pay monthly yeah. with those financing options. And also, I think um, at the end of the day, what you need to do is to be able to shop around because there are those um, comp- uh, banks and finance houses that do mortgages for up to 20 years. Mm. Um, but isn't the average more like 10, 15? They, that's the average, yeah, yeah. But there are some that do up to 20 years. So that's why I said shop around. So if you go around and you find those ones that can do up to 20 years, you might want to save up the equity contribution and get that. So you're living in your own house, you're paying monthly, and I mean, it's still easy for you to be able to pay at the end of the day. But um, at the end of the day, what I think the problem is, the government needs to look at that part of equity contribution. It's yeah. a problem, it's the reason why it's really many high. Nigerians are not getting homes. And then they need to make that mortgage market very, very deep so that there's enough money um, there's enough money for the builders to be able to build long term. There's enough money for me to be able to buy a house. And maybe if I get run into a bit of a um, uh, problem in the future, I can refinance my mortgage and you know do what I need to do because the house is still mine. Um, so uh, I, I hope we all start thinking about owning our own homes yep. as against renting. I, I agree with that to a certain extent, but mm-hmm. I think that the whole idea of um, owning your own home is becoming redundant. Mm -hmm, So mm -hmm. there are different ways to get to financial freedom. I, for instance, would prefer to be in a situation where maybe I'm renting in Lekki and I have a property portfolio that's providing me with rental income that will act as passive income that can pay for my rent in in, um, In Lekki. And so that way you, you have enough assets that are paying for your lifestyle. Because... To a certain extent, a home that you own and live in, you're not getting any rental income from, automatically becomes a cost to you. Mm-hmm. So you're paying for maintenance, you're paying for a lot of anything spoiled for house yeah, like you. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, so I don't know, you guys tell us what you think. I just um, told you about what we'll be talking about in subsequent <laughs> editions because that is investing, uh, using real estate as an investment, investment tool. So yeah. basically we'll, we'll talk about investments sometime in the future. But I mean, what do you guys think about it? Thank you for watching this episode of Analyze This. Let's continue this conversation on social media. The hashtag is Analyze This. The handle is at TV. My handle is at SmartMoneyRSL. 
And you can follow me on social media at Tunji Andrews. Uh, till next time, guys, my name is Tunji Andrews. I'm Arisa Ogu. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Files, aka Files the Bad Guy. Well, in today's lesson, I will teach you how to subscribe to the Indani TV channel. All you have to do is click on this. So simple, straightforward.